pops right out. Well, what was it like growing up with twins? Um, it's gonna sound kind of cheesy, but I feel like, like, especially with strangers, we're always like compared to each other. Or... Do we start? Okay. So when we were little, we were always dressed in the same outfits, just different colors because I was always in pink and she was always in like blue or something. Like... No, you were always in purple and I was always in like yellow or pink. Um, works for Fulton County, so we got to hardship. Cause we lived in Roswell at the time, so Sons of Roswell. that's a fact. Um, so we went to Crabapple Crossing, then Northwestern. We were gonna go to Milton. She went to Milton. I went to Milton. So now they're all right next to each other. But my mom started teaching at Cambridge. Mm -hmm. So for high school, I went to Cambridge. Kaylee went to Milton. Growing up, we always took like the same classes and had the same friends, and I was always working real hard and studying my butt off, and it seemed like Jenna always just kind of would wing it and get the grades, and I'm always working my butt off. It just comes more naturally to her, I guess. Jenna's always just been naturally smarter, and I've always had to deal with the criticism from my parents about grades. Um, I don't really know how to like lightly say it, but I feel like I've had, <laughs> I've been more of the brains in the family. I feel like things are easier for me than they are for Kaylee, like I can grasp new information better than she can. What was it like growing up with twin sisters? Uh, horrible and good at the same time. Overprotective, but protective when they need to be. Oh. How do you think Kaylee and Jenna are different? Oh, uh, Jenna's a bit smarter than Kaylee, but Kaylee's a bit more athletic. In psychology, we learned about the nature versus nurture debate in respect to intelligence. Kaylee and Jenna are dizygotic twins, meaning they're not identical twins, but they do share genetic material. And they've had a very constant environment in the, both of their lives. Growing up, they had same parents, same schooling, same education, same friends. So, I mean, there's really little to explain the difference in their intelligence besides their genetics. In a paper recently published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, researchers made a controversial assertion that our performance on standard assessment tests is determined by our DNA. Now, in their paper, they state that genetic thinking counters the deplorable tendency to blame teachers and parents rather than recognizing that learning is inherently more difficult for some children and differences in children's educational achievement are more a matter of genes than schools or home environments. Well, they came to this conclusion by examining the performance of 6,653 pairs of twins on a nationwide examination of academic achievement, which is administered in the UK at age 16. That's the GCSE for you Brits out there, and if you live in the US, just think SAT. The twins were already registered in an early development study, and so additional genetic and cognitive information was available for the study participants. Each pair of twins lived at home with the same parents, so the researchers were able to control for environmental factors and examine only the effect of genetic variation on exam scores. Now here's where it gets interesting. The scientists broke the pool of twins into two groups, identical twins, which share 100% of the same genetic composition, and fraternal twins, who share only 50% of the same genetic composition. In this way, they were able to show that genetic similarity was a greater indicator of test performance than a similarity in home environment. The study looked at the twins' intelligence scores, but also confidence, personality, self and parent reported behavioral problems, 
and more. And they say that what on the surface seems like environmental influence, like behavioral problems, can actually be linked to causal genetic traits like attention and extroversion or introversion. 